Hey everybody, it's me again with another hair video and this time I'm going to show you how to go from this to this using only one product. So if you want to see how I did this, how I achieved these natural looking curls, stick around and watch the rest of the video. So as you can see, I picked my hair out in an afro. If you remember, I had gotten a haircut at Dickie's Hair Rules because I had a lot of damage and um, I've pretty much been wearing my hair in an afro for a few weeks now and I really really love it it's been like 10 years since I was able to do this but the fact is that it's getting colder now and I really can't be outside with my hair uncovered and um, wearing an afro it's a lot of upkeep um, if I Put a hat on my head then I'm gonna have to go through it and pick it out it's just not practical so I am gonna be doing this method which is going to define my curls it's gonna give me a head full of really nice bouncy natural looking curls and um, I won't have to worry about getting my hair messed up if I put a hat on it because I'll be able to just fluff it up and go on about my business. What you're gonna need to do this method, which I call the dip and skip, you know, you know wash and go, well, this is not a wash and go, this is a dip and skip. First thing you're gonna need is this product, the As I Am Twist Defining Cream. Second thing you're going to need is a comb. You can either use a wide tooth comb like this or you can use a fine tooth comb because you're going to be working in small sections to achieve this look and also you will need like a spray bottle of something you know some water to hydrate your hair I am going to get started and I'll come in and show you like the stages and explain to you how I'm using this product to achieve the look that I'm showing you. Anyway, as you can see, I've already started. I've put my hair up in a big puff using my hair band, and I have one piece of hair sectioned off here in the back. So, oh, one thing I forgot, another instrument that you may need is a very good sharp pair of scissors. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see what's happening back here. Okay, so as you can see, I've already started. I already started on this part on the right side of my head in the back. Um, this is called the shingling method. What we're going to do is we're going to take small sections of hair and we're going to work our way up in layers until we get to the top and everything is finished. So I've got this part piece of hair sectioned off here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mist it with my spray bottle. Now, I don't want to get the hair soaking wet. Remember, this is not a wash and go. This is a method that we're using to define our curls. And I'm um, just working the water into the hair to get it moisturized. And I'm going to first go through it with my wide tooth comb to make sure I get out any tangles. Then I'm going to further go in with my fine tooth comb. And I can do this because I am working in small sections. I'm going to start at the bottom. And if I get any tangles like this, I'm going to separate it out. I'm going to try to pull the tangle apart with my fingers if I can. But as you can see, these strands up here are baby, baby fine. Um, so it's a little challenging, but I can already feel that these are like three strands up here knotted together and I ain't got time for this. So I'm gonna grab that knot and I'm gonna take my scissor and I'm just going to snip right there get that knot out of the way and then I'm going to go back in with the fine tooth comb and as 
you see now I've gotten all the hair detangled. So next I'm going to go in now with the product. So here's the cream and if you've never seen this before you can see what it looks like. It looks like a really thick um, custard, you know, like a pudding. Um, so I'm going to use this now. I'm taking this much and I'm running it through my hair. Actually, I think that might have been too much. But I'm running it through my hair, smoothing the hair down. And you can already see the way it's defining the curls. They're starting to clump up. And you can see that you've got sections that just naturally want to separate on their own. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split this a little bit. I'm going to feel for where that hair wants to... Um, and I'm going to just take it around my finger, wind around my finger, one, two, three, and let it go. And once again, going through, feeling where the hair wants to separate, where it wants to clump, just twirl it, one, two, three, and let it go. And you can see what's happening back there. Of course, I sure as hell can. Now, if you notice, I'm not going all the way down to the scalp. I really don't want to because I want to have a little bit of volume when I'm done with, when I'm done with this. And I don't think it's really necessary to go all the way down there. Plus, it puts less stress on your follicles. And I'm really paying attention to my ends, making sure that my ends are smoothed down. Another benefit of doing this method is it will really drastically cut down on the amount of single strand knots you get if your hair is prone to single strand knots, and mine certainly is. So I'm just smoothing it down and twirling, and then I let go.
and let it go. And this is what we're working with. So I'm going to go and I'm going to finish the rest of my head. And when I finish, I'll let you see the, um, the full result. Okay, so I don't know how well you guys could see what was going on back there. So I'm going to do a section facing the camera. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in my temple area and this is where I've got my 4C textured here. So this is the section that gives me the most problems because it doesn't like to play nice with all the other textures of hair on my head. It always wants to do its own little thing. Putting everything up and out of the way and let me come closer so you can see. Taking my spray bottle. Misting the hair. And working that water into it. Particularly, I want to make sure that my ends are moisturized. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through with my white tooth comb. Here we go. Very gently going through it, making sure I'm getting out any tangles and also helping to smooth down the hair. And now I'm gonna take my fine tooth comb and I'm going to start at the bottom, very gently going through it. Trying to catch any tangles that might be there. If I catch a tangle, I'm not going to pull the comb through the hair. I'm going to disengage. Well, I'm going to disengage all the rest of the hair and focus on the tangle and see if I can undo it with my fingers. And if I can't, if they're all knotted together and that knot won't slip out, then I'll use the scissors to clip it off, but um, seems like everything's going well. I didn't have to clip anything. I didn't hit any tangles. So now I'm gonna dip into the product, the twist the fining cream, and I'm smoothing that starting from the ends. I'm smoothing and working my way up to the root, and you can see that it already starts clumping up on its own, but I don't want big sloppy clumps all over my head. I want to have nice natural looking curls. So I'm going to start where the hair feels like it wants to separate out and I'm going to twirl one, two, three and let it go. And this is my 4C section, so yeah, it wants to be difficult. Okay, for this one, I am going to twirl down by the root because, you know, people see this. But you can see it's still puffy at the root. If I wanted to, I'd make a real big deal and just go in more, but I really don't want to do that. And you'll see once I'm done, you'll see it really doesn't make a difference. So separating the hair again, and I am twirling it around my finger. One, two, three, and let it go. And I'm just going through this whole section so that I don't have end up with one big clump. And you know, once you do this, like I said, you see where the hair naturally wants to clump together and you know, where it wants to section itself. So can you see? Okay, you can see that, right? Like, mm, here you go. 
You just catch those clumps where they want to separate naturally. And that's what you work with when you're sectioning out the pieces. I'm not going all the way to the root, but I am smoothing it out. Okay, in this area, I'm gonna put a little bit more cream. Once again, I'm not going too close, close to the root. I'm not twirling too tightly at the root because I don't want to put any tension on my follicles. I'm smoothing down the shaft of the hair, smoothing down the cuticles, and then I'm just twirling and letting it go. And you can see, you can see the way it's clumping up there. Okay, so there you go, coming in close. You can see what I've achieved here. Also looking at the back, you can see how everything is there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna finish the rest of my head. And I'm coming back and showing you the full the uh the final uh result all right so here we go uh this is the final the final product and you can see that really big afro got taken down to all these nice little curls now i'm gonna take my camera and zoom in a little well let me see if you can see the definition of the curls it's really very nice definition, very bright, very shiny. Let me let me do this. Great thing about this is that the cream really seals in the moisture in your hair. But um, what I do is every other day or so, I take that you know the mister and. I spritz my hair with it, it soaks up the moisture, it keeps my hair hydrated, and because everything is coated, it really present, prevents my hair from, um, you know, getting knots, single strand knots and all of those things. So um, one thing though, um, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is an investment in time to do this. It took me about, took me about two hours to get all my head done um, but the plus side the upside in this is that for the next week week and a half I really don't have to do anything to my hair in the morning um, of course when I go to sleep I put like a do-rag on or I tie it up in um, a silk turban and when I wake up in the morning really all I have to do is just fluff it up, you know, pull it up into place with my fingers and I'm good to go. Maybe spritz a little if I feel the need to, shake it out and I'm good to go. I'm good for the rest of the day. If I want to take a nap, I can lay down and take a nap and I don't have to worry that my hair is going to be all flat when I get up. The curls are going to stay intact, you know. One thing I will say though is if you do have like a really, really humid day really wet day um your hair will absorb a lot of that moisture so it will feel your hair will feel damp you know so i guess at that point you don't want to be running your fingers through your hair but then again you really don't want to be running your fingers through your hair anyway because you don't want to disturb your curl pattern that is how i obtain the flexible curls on my four type afro hair using one simple product so if you like it 
you know what to do like subscribe leave comments down below and i'll see you next time bye bye